Well, the hits just keep coming for old Lisa Bloom. A report by the New York Times says the liberal super PAC American Bridge for some reason paid Lisa Bloom $200,000 to solicit sexual misconduct allegations against Donald Trump. Huh. Mark Stein is an author and columnist and something of an expert on ethics. He joins us tonight. Is this, I mean, what, I, I don't know if you're a professional ethicist or not. I don't know if you're representing the Bar Association when you say this, but what am I to make of Lisa Bloom taking 200 grand in order to dig up dirt on a political candidate? Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say I was a professional ethicist, and I'm not sure which bars Lisa Bloom and her mother, uh, belo Gloria Allred, uh, belong to. Uh, but there are different incentives at work here. And a lawyer, more than almost any other profession, uh, owes the client uh, honest services. And if you have the setup that uh, these two are engaged in, where they've been fishing, uh, es uh, fishing essentially... Uh, for stooges that they can put up uh, as uh, to, to, to damage the president to get the uh, to, so they can be sitting there at press conferences as they've been doing for most of uh, our lives, uh, then I think there is actually something malodorous about it. Well, sure. Uh, I mean, I guess mean, what bothers me, if she were a political consultant or just a conventional slip and fall ambulance chaser, you sort of know what you're getting. But she mm. poses as and is and is represented as by the press as some sort of moral leader who's fighting on behalf of things that are good and true, light against darkness. But she's not. She's a totally cynical, transactional, sleazy lawyer. Well, yes. I mean, you, you mentioned a couple of, of, uh, of weeks ago, Tucker, that uh, she was originally Harvey Weinstein's lawyer. Exactly. And uh, then and then they fell out and she was no longer his lawyer. Now, I, I don't have a problem with that because I actually think it's sometimes helpful. And I've, I've done this myself uh, to have a, a lawyer who is not uh, on your side ideologically right. uh, and actually just just looks at the case from the point of the law. And so it's sometimes actually helpful. Uh, it, it might be helpful to have a feminist lawyer actually representing a scummy sleazebag who assaults women. Everybody is entitled to a good defense. What made it sleazy was that she had a book deal with Harvey Weinstein. He was making a television production of her book. That's what that's sleazy. There are ethical rules uh, determining uh, when lawyers embark on business relationships with their clients. And if you look at uh, Lisa Bloom and her mother, for example, one of the reasons they've been trying to raise uh, they're raising money. Uh, w one of the aspects of this is that uh, if uh, you, uh, if they manage to place an interview with a television network that pays for the interview, the lawyer gets a third of the fee as a commission. Now, that's a lawyer serving as an agent. And exactly. it may well not be in the client's interest, particularly if you're just some uh, ordinary woman who happens to have been sexually assaulted by a powerful man. It may not actually be in your interest to be going on television, becoming a famous person, uh, when in the end uh, Lisa Bloom goes on uh, to the next client and you're living with the consequences of, of having become a briefly famous person but still with no money or celebrity or enduring fame to show for it. That's so, not I mean, in the client's interest. Right. So she's just a, a parasite like so many uh, lawyers. Yeah. Can, we, can we agree, though, in the end, that I don't have to take any more moral lectures from Lisa Bloom? Oh, no, ab absolutely. I mean, what is interesting to me about this is uh, the, sh she, she is explicitly saying that she wants money to help take down the president. Uh, so you're, you're not giving to a PAC. You're not giving to a cause. You're basically enriching Lisa Bloom uh, to advance her political objectives. And, and, and as I said, the, 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 the particular women in this issue, uh, in, in, in this case, are, are just uh, uh, essentially just venting ventriloquist puppets. Course, she course. sticks the hand up the back of the dress and, and makes them say what they say. And, and as I said uh, a couple of minutes ago, for as long as I can remember, I've switched on the TV and Lisa Bloom or her mother has been sitting there next to a woman uh, to whom something bad has happened. And you never hear from the woman again. Uh, and Lisa Bloom and Gloria <laughs> Allred go on to riches and riches exactly. and riches. The only woman Lisa Bloom is helping is Lisa Bloom. Huh, funny. That's Mark right. Stein, great to see you.